Hi Taurus, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your August 2018 monthly tarot forecast. This is for Taurus Sun, Taurus Moon, and Taurus Rising Signs. So Taurus, for this reading I am using the Universal Tarot deck along with the Oracle of the Unicorns, Oracle cards by uh, Cordelia Brams, and then I also will be pulling you a Romance Angel Oracle card as well. Okay, Taurus, such an interesting spread. A lot of majors here. Wow, okay, at the bottom of the deck, death, okay. So this is what I'm using Taurus as the overall energy for you guys for the month of August. So we have death, um, very, very powerful energy. So death is endings and new beginnings or something changing. It, it's changing forever. It will never be the same. Um, some of you are going through this great change, this great transformation throughout the month of August. Um, I just want to see how many majors you have here. One, two, three, four, five, five majors plus the overall energy. That's six. So six major arcanas here, Taurus. Death is a very, very powerful energy um, right at the center. We do have the moon crossed by the nine of cups. And so let's see here. With the moon, you know, the moon, it's a tricky energy. It, it's not it's not negative. I don't want you to think that um, it's, it's one of those neutral cards. It can go in either direction for me. But the moon does like to keep things hidden. It likes, you know, the moon likes to hide things. It can be, you know, a confusing sort of energy. So some of you might have been dealing with a situation um, that, you know, has been ongoing because I feel like with this energy here right at the center, something's ongoing from July. So something's been up in the air. It could have been, you know, from the time of Cancer um, with the with the moon here. The moon represents the sign of Cancer. So something could have been ongoing for some of you since the, the time of Cancer. Um, and it, maybe it's been up in the air or just confusing. It could have been an emotional situation for some of you. And maybe there was a lot of unknowns. But we have death here, and so change is coming in. Change is inevitable. Change is happening no matter what. So if you've been dealing with like an ongoing situation that there was a lot of unknowns or a lot of confusion or even a lot of fear, a lot of fear around this, that's all coming to an end. We have the Nine of Cups here, which is wish fulfillment. It's emotional abundance. It's, it's obviously a happy outcome. And so some of you... You know, this might not be right at the start of the month, but it is in the month of August. Um, so I feel like some of you, yes, the timing with the Nine of Cups here in this position, it's not happening right at the start, but it is happening. Um, and I feel like this is what you're moving towards, Nine of Cups, which is wish fulfillment or just emotionally being in a, in a really good place and quite happy with maybe an outcome. What's interesting is we have the tower at your foundation. So we do have some water energy here. So, um, you know, there could be some Taurians that you're dealing with a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. But with the tower at your foundation, something could have happened. There could have been a shakeup. Um, the tower for me is not automatically negative. I just want you to be aware of that. And this has already happened. So there could have been something that happened quite suddenly. There could have been some sort of a shakeup that occurred. Something could have caught you off guard. Um, but the tower is a very powerful energy. So with death and the tower, I mean, there's a lot of Taurians that I'm reading for that you are going through some big changes, big, big changes. Um, now we have the king of wands in the more recent past which can be a Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries person who maybe has something to do with this. Um, uh, for especially those Taurian males, 
um, you know, this could have been your energy here, King of Wands, who is, you know, he's a go-getter, he's optimistic, he makes things happen, uh, he's incredibly motivated and very, very creative, so some of you, this could have been, you know, your energy, you know, moving forward, something could have happened, there's a shift, you know, maybe you taking matters into your own hands here um, and, and making things happen crowning you we have the ace of cups and so this is a blessing this is a beautiful blessing a blessing from the heavens that's coming in and this is what's on your mind so um i think some of you know that this is what you're moving towards this is a blessing that's coming into your life it's going to make you incredibly happy um and so we have this ace of cups and then we also have the ace of wands so this Ace of Cups is Ace of Wands. Could be like an exciting new adventure for some of you. Um, with the Ace of Cups, it's not always love. But for some of you, I feel like it is. Um, but it's not always love. It could be something you're falling in love with. Um, for those of you that maybe you've changed jobs or maybe you're, you know, you're, you're moving house, it could be a position, it could be a home that you're falling in love with, but yet this new path is also like a new adventure and it's exciting and, you know, yeah, it's just thrilling and it's exciting. And so we have the Ace of Cups, we have the Ace of Wands, even though we have you know, these amazing, um, you know, majors here, death, the tower. Um, and then we have in the position of your power, we have the devil. And so this is because it's in the position of your power, Taurus. Um, just, and we also have the moon here. So watch your thoughts. This is not for all of you. Obviously, it's just a general reading. But for, you know, that handful of Taurians, you know, watch your thoughts. Stay out of your head. Don't allow fear to get the best of you. You could be coming through a little emotional. Um, you know, this moon energy likes to linger a little while sometimes. And so, you know, just take caution here. Stay out of your head. Stay positive. Um, the devil can also, you know, represents several different things. It can also represent, you know, doing something in excess or, or too much of something. And then, you know, here, for those of you that it, this is a new relationship, you know, there definitely could be like a very strong attraction, a very strong physical desire here with the Ace of Wands. This can represent that spark, that attraction. And with the devil feeling very tempted, um... So just keep that in mind. And then in the position of how those around you, friends and family, how they're viewing you, we have the Hierophant, which I mean, the Hierophant does represent your sign, Taurus. But the Hierophant also can represent marriage, commitment, a more traditional relationship. And so some of you, that could be exactly what you're moving towards. Um, And, you know, it could be with a water sign person, could be a fire sign, a water sign, could even be with a Capricorn uh, individual with the devil here. Some of you might be hanging around a Capricorn. For those of you that are already married or in a traditional relationship, just watch out for the devil. You know, the devil could be like an outside influence. The devil could be a temptation that's coming to you around the second, third week. So just keep that in mind. For other Torians that it's not on the love front, this could be a new job. This could absolutely be a new job. Or it could also be some sort of paperwork um, that's coming through here around the third week. And with the tower, the tower can always represent a home or a building that's significant. So if you're waiting on documents or something like that, that could be coming in around the third week. In the hopes and fears position, I have the four of pentacles, which... Fours do speak about your foundation, your security, your stability. Four of Pentacles in particular can speak about um, savings, money in the bank. So, I mean, you're a Taurus, so you might just want to feel more secure, financially more secure. You want to save more money. You want something to fall back on. I mean, you're a Taurus, so you normally, you know, you want to feel secure. You want that financial security. And so um, energy that you're actually leaving the month with Taurus and going into September, we have the sun, another powerful major arcana. 
which is success, abundance, happiness. You shining bright, Taurus. Some of you in the spotlight, maybe receiving lots of praise. Um, you know, if this is, you know, a new job, or you could be moving up within the company that you work for. But this is just an amazing energy. It's the most positive energy um, within the entire deck here out of all of the, the cards. And like I mentioned earlier with the Nine of Cups here in this position, for those of you that maybe something isn't happening right at the start of the month, here it is right at the end of the month with the sun here. This is just you feeling truly content, blessed, happy. I do feel like some of you are going to be maybe in the spotlight in some way, but just, yeah, so lots of change, lots of growth, and lots of change, I feel, happening for a lot of Taurians in August, um, and with every ending, there's new beginnings that, that follow. You're just making that room, creating that space, so just keep that in mind if something is ending. You're just making that space for new beginnings to come in. I am going to clarify very quickly. Um, let's take a look at, we will take a look at the tower, which is at your foundation. Taurus, clarifying the tower for Taurus at your foundation. Taurus. <clears throat> okay, so we have the Six of Cups and the High Priestess. I'm going to stick these back in, but I just wanted to show them to you. So maybe something from the past. Um, that maybe came back, came back around. High Priestess, something could have come to light, something that was hidden, surfacing for some of you. Could even be an X. <laughs> an X popping up uh, unexpectedly. Interesting. Uh, okay, interesting. And then I'm also going to take a look at this devil here. Let's clarify the devil for Taurus. Clarifying the devil for Taurus. Okay, quite interesting, Taurus. So looking at the tower, I have the Seven of Swords, the Nine of Rods, and then the Hierophant. We already have the Hierophant here in the spread. So that's, you know, that's interesting. Nine of, of Rods is you persevering, hanging in there, not giving up. So maybe some of you are dealing with, you could have been dealing with like a shady character, a situation, someone trying to hide something, someone trying to get away with something. And this could be with the Hierophant, I mean, it could be anything to do with like a large company, the company you work for, the government, a legal matter, any sort of like institution. But there's this waiting um, and this persevering and not giving up here. But then, we, you know, this is clarifying the tower. So the tower could have came in, which is the universe stepping in and maybe putting an end to something for some of you or um, you know, letting this be known if this was like something um, going on that was shady or something sneaky. Uh, this could have come to light. There could have been an awakening of some kind for some of you. Very interesting. Looking at the devil, we actually have the five of pentacles, the five of rods, and then death. So something that was challenging for you, two fives here, very, very challenging for you is coming to an end. And so this could be on the financial front, maybe dealing with a lot of competition, you know, internal, external challenges, but this is coming to an end. Fear, feeling stuck, all coming to an end with death. You have death twice. Um, you know, if you felt chained to a Scorpio because there is some Scorpion energy here. If you felt chained to a Scorpio, that could be coming to an end. But let me pull you an additional guidance card. Taurus, what else does Taurus need to know for the month of August? All right, so I want the card that landed upright. These did not. And then I'm also pulling you, Taurus, a Romance Angel Oracle card. But as always, over on Vimeo, I do have the August uh, Love Tarot forecast posted over there. That link is below. All right. 
And then I will mention very quickly, Taurus, that for the month of August, I am discounting my 30 minute readings. So if that's something that interests you, if you've always wanted to have a reading with me, and, and try out my services for the month of August only. I am having a special on my 30 minute readings. I'm discounting those. Um, so, you know, if that's something that you've wanted, August would be the time because you can get them at a really good price. Um, and you can buy them for other people as well if someone has a birthday uh, or an anniversary, something like that coming up. You can always purchase a reading for a friend, family member, significant other, whoever. Um, all right, so Taurus, the additional guidance card that we have is actually nature. Ground yourself, find a sanctuary in nature, connect with the elementals. Connect with the elementals. So some of you might need to ground yourself. We do have the moon here right at the start of the month, which I mentioned can be that emotional energy. And if there are some Taurians that there's, you know, there's been some, some fear, some worry, and it's because you've dealt with some challenges and maybe even a shady situation, uh, even maybe conflicts within a relationship, what's going to help you is getting outdoors and getting in, in, into nature here, um, you know, going for a walk sitting under a tree, just breathing that fresh air. This is what you need. That's gonna help ground you as well. Um, other other Taurians, maybe you need to create a sanctuary. That could be outdoors, but you know, a sanctuary anywhere is good. So that can be indoors as well. You just might need, you know, a place that you can go to to clear your mind or to meditate or just, you know, feel at peace for some of you Taurians. And then looking at love and relationship matters, we have heart to heart conversations, honestly discuss, discuss your feelings with each other. So those of you that do have like a relationship situation going on here, maybe talking it out, maybe being open and honest with your partner, that could be needed, but you know, communication is needed, conversations are needed for some of you. Those of you that are getting into a new relationship or there's someone that you're interested in because I do feel like for some of you there is new love coming in, heart to heart conversations, you know, just represents communicating openly, speaking your truth, um, honestly discussing your feelings with, you, with each other, which is telling someone how you feel, letting them know that you're interested in them, you know, being really open and honest here in the month of August. Taurus. Okay. So I hope that you found this reading helpful. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please be sure to subscribe. If you are interested in having a private reading, please check out northeasttarot.com. I wish you guys a great month.